Now Titus Savage, the head of the household, after many, many years of select cannibalism, has uh, developed a very, very keen sense of smell, uh, which means that he's able to detect top notes um, in a person that, that uh, will inform the taste of the meat. And so here we find him in the rush hour, on the way home, on the tube, on a crowded tube. There was a point just behind the ear that Titus considered a guilty pleasure. Towards the end of a warm day, it was possible to, to detect a slight but telling odour. This was down to the sweat produced by the eccrine gland. The fold in the skin behind the lobe interested Titus because it formed a trap where a particularly oily film of the stuff would mature. Even though the smell was undetectable to most people, it revealed a great deal to experienced nostrils. Leaning over the couple with the map, Titus breathed in and savoured the intermingling odour of two specimens. Like a wine connoisseur, he was able to break down the components and make a quality assessment. In this case, the couple were in good health, well exercised and enjoyed a balanced diet. In terms of appeal, however, they were both a little too mature for his liking. What put Titus off completely was the top note of trimethylene he detected. This natural chemical was released in times of stress and could make the flesh a little fishy. Given that these guys were clearly tourists in a strange city and quite possibly a long way from home, it was no surprise that they were feeling tense. As the tube train pulled into the next station, the pair appeared to be torn as to whether or not they should get off. They looked at one another, then back at the map before bickering in their mother tongue. Titus stood back and smiled to himself. It was an amusing exercise, something he often enjoyed during rush hour to make the journey go that bit quicker. The savages didn't just go around slaying people day after day to feed their appetite for human flesh. It was a delicacy, a treat they enjoyed on an occasional basis. Sometimes they would prepare a feast to mark a special moment in their lives. At other times, consuming someone would be necessary because they had come too close to the truth for comfort. Excuse me, sir, the male tourist said in broken English and turned to face him. Which way to the palace? As visitors to this country, the couple would have been mightily impressed by the time and courtesy Titus went on to display. He showed them their destination on the map, explained that they were travelling in the wrong direction, and then stood at the open door and pointed out the correct platform. As the couple stepped off, thanking him profusely, Titus bowed his head and wished them a good day. At the same time, in the furthest recess of his mind, he was debating whether salt curing might draw out the stress taint, particularly from a nice cut like the thigh or rib cage. If that worked out, he thought to himself, it could just leave the meat ripe for a mouth-wateringly tender, slow-cooked stroganoff. <laughs>